To install the ring, grab the roller and belt with your thumb and forefinger, pull it straight up and bend it over the top of the clear plastic tube. Secure the belt in this position by using your thumb to hold it over the edge of the tube. With your free hand, slide the ring over the end of the roller and align the axle of the roller into the notches on the top of the ring. After you have secured the roller axle in the notches, you can slide the ring assembly over top of the clear tube. Orient the ring so that the belt is straight and the alignment pegs are inserted into the clear plastic tube notches. For the next step, you'll need a small Phillips screwdriver and the upper brush and post base. Align the post base over the black ring at the pre-drilled screw holes. Insert the small screws at each of the four holes. Tighten them completely after all of the screws are inserted. Now you're ready to install the dome base post. Remove the first nut from the end of the base post, then insert the base post and screw it into the base assembly. Tighten the base post snugly, but do not over tighten. It's aluminum and a soft metal. Now you can install the dome. Just slide it over the top of the tower assembly and put the nut back onto the top of the base post. You want to make sure that this nut is tight to ensure a good connection between the base post and the dome. To install the hand crank wheel, we'll need a larger Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Slide the base of the wheel assembly under the large Phillips screws and washers. Slide the wheel assembly all the way to the ends of the notches. This will ensure the alignment of the wheel with the other pulley. Once you have tightened the two screws, you can pull out the drive belt and hook it around the drive pulley. Install a crank handle by screwing the bolt into the wheel hole. Screw the bolt of the handle through the wheel far enough for the lock nut to go on the other side and tighten it. Tighten the lock nut down with a pair of pliers. Ensure that the bolt is flush with the face of the nut. After you've tightened the lock nut, make sure that the handle turns freely over top of the handle bolt and that the wheel turns freely without any restrictions. The final step is to complete the attachment of the discharge wand. Just twist on the top globe and then attach the wire jack into the jack receptacle on the base. Now you're ready to test your vandegraaff. Using the discharge wand a couple inches away from the main dome, give the wheel an even turn. It's not necessary to spin it real fast, just give it a nice, steady, even rotation.